Can you hear me now? Yep. Good. We use social networking a lot. We use like Twitter, Facebook, um, not MySpace so much, but um, I believe Wallace also uses Foursquare. Yeah. And we're on Tumblr as well. Uh, Facebook, Facebook, texting, phone. If not texting, then on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, it'd have to be Facebook. Uh, Talking on the phone. Uvu as well. Okay. 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 It's not in class through email. Email. Some professors even have their email set up to like their Blackberries or their phone. So even if they're not at a computer, they'll get back to you pretty soon. But yeah, email is pretty big. Um, or office hours. I do email my instructors. That's my number one way of getting hold of them. Most teachers don't aren't good about answering their phones or replying messages that you leave on their phones. My math professor, he has a Facebook account. Well, he made like a group account. Mm -hmm. So we get all on our homework on Facebook. Like via email. Via email. And how does that work out for you? Um, sometimes it works out well, sometimes it doesn't. I think there's still sort of a, uh, a, a rift in a lot of the older generation moving into utilizing more of the digital age and stuff. Do you find that a majority of your instructors do you use email or don't? They do. Well, um, a majority of mine do at least. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're really good with responding to my emails promptly and everything. Oh, I like email better than office hours. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like it too. It's, it's kind of intimidating sometimes to go into their office hours because, I don't know, well for me it's intimidating so email is just, it's easier. On a simple voltaic cell, the positive electrode is made of copper, the negative of zinc. My classmates, they have a tendency to utilize the technologies better so you can get a quick response from somebody if you, you know, text them, call them, send them an email. Um, pretty much through texting. Okay. Yeah. If I don't ask them for an email, then I'll ask them, oh, do you have a Facebook? And then we'll communicate on that. It'd be the same thing because sometimes you have classmates where you don't really hang out at high school, but you want to somehow contact them. It's either you know you text them or you ask them for a number, but the majority of the time it's Facebook. Just because sometimes that people don't want to give out their numbers, so you just hit me up on Facebook. Uh, maybe something in the class will be interesting. I'll look and you know, give a smile or something's ever... weird. I'll widen my eyes. Notice, notice, notice. Joyful spring news for the town. I'm really obsessed with looking at the bulletin boards. Whenever I pass it, I always look. I'm a billboard, bulletin board reader. Oh, well, actually, my mom helps me a lot. She's coming here with me. Okay, so, so she... I, I really found out all my stuff from her. So She's like, yeah, she, I'm still her little baby, you okay. know? Most of the communication that I get is from clubs and organizations. They're, they're probably the most reliable. A friend of ours would, you know, say something, oh, did you hear about this, you know, or something like that. Sometimes my professor would tell me, oh, you know, about a specific event. And if not my professor, then some some of my friends would know about some events here. We'll get like an event invite, and we always know what's going on via the event invites we get. So the Facebook is great. The associated students have a Facebook and things like that, and I add them because it's really easy to get information that way. That way. And it's um, like they can invite you to events, and you can just see like the entire thing, and it's really eco-friendly versus all the posters and flyers on campus. And um, the PCC website is like really handy because you can search your professors and look up their syllabus and they can post up um, like assignments so if you miss class or something like that and, or you don't necessarily need to print out like a 10 page syllabus. The only thing that I ever really look at is I'll go on the campus website and then just like look up my registration date for classes. Oh, the website where they have updates about the latest things, whether it's sports or, you know, anything that's going on in school. They usually have it online. Like, go to the home page or something like that, you know, or just ask a friend. Well, before a semester starts, I always go, like, to the counselor, and I always get this little thing, and it has, like, all this, like, the important dates about everything. Like, this is what I do. Just because I know that sometimes if you ask someone, they may not know the exact date, and this definitely has the exact date, so... I always use this. It's important to check a PCC's website mm -hmm. quite often. Um, I follow PCC on Twitter, for example, the library, uh, the AS. Um, PCC president has a Twitter account, um, mostly via internet. Uh, I look at signs all around me. They tell me what's going on. It just takes mindfulness and awareness. And school's pretty good at telling you what's going on. Um, 
and I, it just takes a little bit of effort going to a website if you need to apply for a financial aid or see what scholarships are coming up. It just doesn't come into your head. You have to go seek that information and it's all available to you. They are winning the battle of production with ingenuity, with initiative, with suggestions for a faster, better way of getting the job done. I'd like to see them during the registration process actually have students um, enter in their own personal email addresses, uh, not set up an email for them that they may not use, and also to give students the option to use um, text messages. If we had something on campus, um, sort of like a frequently asked questions type of database, where, um, or one of the things we're exploring with AES is to have like a sort of like a bulletin board online where students can go post questions um, and faculty and staff can all have access to that to try and answer people's questions. Weekly blast email maybe? Just just email to all the students who signed up on like if they just submit their emails to just say things that maybe is happening this week and just special things that a lot of students won't know about. I think that could really help. Maybe what they could do is if they have something online, but then that's up to people really to check the website, you know, where they could probably take like a things I'm interested in survey or something. And then, I mean, whether they want an email or a text or something about it, then they can, they can get the information that way, kind of like customize it for yourself. It'd be cool if they had an email list. <laughs> email list? Yeah. What would you like to get? Um, just reminders or, hey, this is going on on campus, you should check it out, you know, whatever. I guess emails. Okay. So what about emails? Like, like sending so emails, you know, <laughs> telling people, like, what's going reminders. on. Reminders? Yeah, reminders, things like that. I think that's really helpful. Especially the online classes. Yeah. Like, if you forget a day, your day off, you're old. Yeah. And you can't really do anything about the assignment that you missed because it's your responsibility. Okay. Since a lot of people do check their emails and stuff, so <laughs> I think that's helpful. Just knowing about things, events, I think it would really help me and to help other students to just participate more. There's a lot of opportunities available for communication on this campus. Um, and it has sort of a dual purpose uh, in my eyes that not only can we utilize it to disseminate more information from students, but it's also more sustainable to move away from paper and do things digitally.